Yo. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's your boy Doc G. Um, doing Date and Diary <laughs> Episode 5. Um, yeah. Before I start doing that, let me go ahead and take my little red pills real quick. You know? I have to get that out of the way. But. It's been a while since I've done a dating diary video. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got to let y'all get all in the business about what's been going on in dating world and all that fucking shit, right? And it's crazy because it's kind of it's kind of insane because like I don't even have to try to get chicks anymore like this past month has been crazy and I'm a fucking I'm gonna start that off I'm gonna start this video off by saying that so let's start off with last night okay last night last night it was a big block party up in um in West Palm Florida you know, West Palm, which is like a city that's like 20 miles from Fort Lauderdale down here in Florida. Anyway, it's a big block party that happens every Halloween or the weekend before Halloween, which was last night. And it's for 21 and up people who are 21 and up and everybody dresses up and, and everybody's just on some crazy shit. They close down a whole city block in West Palm and it's a big ass block party with multiple DJs and, you know, multiple, um, multiple bands and all that shit. Anyway, so I took a female accomplice, you know, she, you know, she wanted me to take her as a date. So I took her as a date, you know, we went up there and we had fun. Now, this is where, this is where, where shit starts getting crazy. Okay. You know, my Halloween costume, I dressed up as the genie from Aladdin. You know, I had the genie pants on and had the lamp. And I basically had my shirt off with, you know, the genie jewelry on and all that shit. You know, the whole nine. You know, I was committed to character like a motherfucker. And before before I even put on the before I even dressed up as the genie, I figure, okay, I'm gonna be walking around in public with my shirt off, so let me get right. So about two hours before we went to that block party, I did about 150 push-ups. I did 30 minutes of sit-ups and I ran about four miles. So I was like jacked, you know, like, you know, it was veiny, had my abs on point in the whole nine, you know, fucking committed to the character, you know, got that manscaped, shaved my chest, shaved my back, all that shit, got all oiled up and like swole as fuck. So, so I could play the role of the genie and shit, right? Anyway, so I was the genie character. I'll go out there, you know, to the block party with this uh, with this chick I told y'all about. And I'm telling you, I got so much attention from females. It was ridiculous. I never got that much attention from females in my life. Well, not in America anyway. Like, I get attention like that from females overseas all the time. But I never in my lifetime got that amount of attention from American women. And I'm talking about I'm talking about women who came out there with boyfriends. They were fucking they were staring me down. Had chicks whistling at me and shit. You know, had chicks saying nasty shit and all that. Even though I had like a female a female with me throughout this whole entire block party, you know, still you had these girls thirsty as fuck. And I'm talking about had one try to grab my ass, you know, it was crazy. Like, and, and like I said, I never had this shit happen to me in America. I never had that type of reaction from women in America until last night. So it's, it, it was, it's, it was funny as hell to me because Guarantee you, if I if if the if the roles were reversed and I was a female, 
and a whole bunch of males was coming on, you know, that would be seen as inappropriate, right? But chicks can be like, you know, grabbing ass and feeling all on my arms and shit and, and, and goddamn saying all kinds of freaky shit and I fucking me while they're with their partner. Oh, it's okay if females do that to men. So that's basically what was happening to me last night. The entire fucking night I was out there. So, yeah, that, that shit was funny. So, story number one, you know, for the dating diary was last night. Shit was funny as hell. Oh, yeah. And then story number two. It's this chick. <laughs> it's this chick. Who I met online and I end up finding out later on, like, you know, she was like 40 years old, but she fine as hell. I usually don't date chicks above a certain age, but she was sexy as hell. Anyway, motherfucking, I date her for a couple of dates and for about like two dates. And then, and then two weeks ago, you know, I finally get her in my spot. And I fucked the shit out of her, man. Like, you know, I tore her fucking ass up. You know what I'm saying? And she, you should have seen her reaction. She was like, she was like, she was like, oh, God, we could have been doing that the whole time. I'm like, I guess so. Yeah. But whatever. So, you know, you know, she, we all laid up in bed and shit. And I turn on, you know, I, I put YouTube on the TV. I'm going, you know, I'm trying to fucking find a music playlist and I, and she scrolls down like some of my viewing options and she sees a couple of MGTOW videos. And she's like, oh, oh, you watch that MGTOW shit? It's like, you know, everything was all lovely and shit until she saw that I had some MGTOW videos in my, in my play selection. So she was like all in her feelings about it. You know, and I was like, yeah, it is what it is because, I mean, that doesn't mean that I hate women. It just means I just do what I do and I live my life by my own means. End of story. So she comes back the day after and I fuck her again. And then, you know, we chilling and then, you know, I'm playing music again and she sees the mix out videos again. She's like, you still got this shit in your, in your selections. And not, and that's when I got tired of the shit. And I was like, all right, obviously you feel some type of way about me being a man going my own way. So if you don't like it that bad, so bad that you want to mention it twice, then you know where the fucking door is, you know? And it's crazy because for some reason she thinks MGTOW, she compared MGTOW to the fucking woman haters club on, you know, that Al Bundy was in, you know, on the show Married with Children. She was like, oh, I heard they, they hate women and blah, blah, blah. And I, and you know. After I finished fucking her that second time, I never called her back. I deleted her on every social media platform and never called the bitch again. So there is that. And last but not least, you got this third story number three. Where this bitch named Janissa, man. This this bitch I used to fuck. Puerto Rican bitch. You know, I used to fuck the shit out of that bro, man, like about three years ago. And um, you know, she I haven't heard from her in like a year. And she, I get a call from her, you know, recently, and she's thirsty as fuck talking about, I've seen your recent pictures. Oh, and oh, you're so in shape now. Oh, can I, oh, you know, I'm coming down there in three days. Oh, can I get some dick? And she was like politely asking for some dick. It was pathetic as fuck, man, because it's kind of, it's kind of like the polar opposite with her. She got fat as fuck. This bitch walking around in moo moo dresses and shit. Looking like she ate her former self. And she's up here politely asking me for dick. I'm like, um, wow. Um, you don't look like you used to. Um, I think I'm good on that. You know? But, um, <laughs> yeah, she coming down in a couple days. And I have no interest in goddamn fucking some fucking bitch that's the size of a house. So it's whatever. Those are three stories that have happened recently. Dating diary number five. 
That's what it is, man. Doc G out. Holla at you. Peace.